Will I be able to drive like James Bond and hide my license plates from the bad guys? Let's find out. I recently purchased a license plate flipper from eBay for security research purposes. It comes with a control module, a flipper for the front, and a flipper for the rear. The flippers are identical and contain a cable connector for power and signal from the control module. There seem to be eight mounting holes, but we'll get back to those later. The flipper opens up and there are mounting slots for holding it onto your car with bolts, but the bolt heads need to be really flat in order to not obstruct movement of the flipper. The cable routes through the metal plate into a circuit board, and then from the circuit board out into the right, and then to the left. The front and back sides of the flipper are labeled B and A, which allows you to track matching sides if using both the front and rear flippers. And here's what the back of the flipper looks like. There's not really a good path for the cable to route, it's left dangling and is thicker than the back plate, which may cause some issues mounting the flipper flush to the car. Now back to the other mounting hole problem. When I place a license plate on the flipper, there are no matching mounting holes. On the flipper, there are eight holes on the top and bottom, but none of them match up. If anyone knows why, let me know, please. And when you open the flipper, this is the top of the B side. Here's a wide angle view to see how the flipper looks when completely opened. Now let's take a look at the control module. The buttons are labeled as after the machine button, before the machine button, double machine button, and power switch. The power switch is a rocker and flip it left to turn on the unit. To flip both rear and front plates, press the right hand button. And for individual flips like the front or rear, press the middle button or the left button depending on how you plug them in. On the back of the module, there are cable connections. From left to right, we have power supply, before the machine output, after the machine output, and external lights. Now, I don't know what they mean by before the machine or after the machine. It's basically talking about the front or the rear, and you can plug them in either way. So this is where the 12 volt car charger plugs into, then the front and rear flippers, depending on how you plugged them in, and then the external light, which is actually two LED indicators to indicate the status of the front and rear flippers. And finally, a key fob is included to wirelessly control the flippers. To power the flipper in my studio, I'm using my benchtop power supply and setting it to 12 volts and one amp. While testing, I found out that one flipper draws about 300 milliamps when flipping. Now I plug in one of the flippers for testing purposes. Then I power on the control module and there's an audible indicator to announce power status. The middle LED remains off because I have not plugged in the second flipper, but you will see all LEDs lit up later in the video. To flip, either press the button on the control module or on the key fob. To attach the license plate, I saw another YouTuber drill a pilot hole and then drive machine screws into the unit, but I'm using mounting tape for this demonstration. This flipper is plugged into the module such that the B button will flip it, so here's what that looks like. And pressing A will activate both flippers. And now I'm testing it using the control module. All right, now let's go install it on my car. As discussed earlier, the flipper needs flat mounting screws, which I don't own, so I'm using mounting tape and duct tape to keep the flipper from falling. Stay to the end of the video to watch the bloopers of it falling off or getting stuck while I was filming this video. When you install the flipper, make sure the cable is free and not pinched anywhere. And make sure it is coming out of the rear of the back plate. Do not have it between the flipper and plate or it will obstruct the flipper. All right, so now we've set up our not a speed camera. Now, even if I did have flat headed bolts, I would have not been able to mount them on my rear plate. The mounting holes on my car did not line up well with the mounting holes on the flipper. I would need a couple extra inches of clearance above in order to match up the holes. So be aware of this situation if you're planning on buying a flipper. Luckily for me, I'm just demonstrating it, so I used mounting tape and duct tape to temporarily attach the rear flipper. Okay, so starting at the rear of my car, I have the rear flipper, which is plugged into the rear extension cable. That cable runs into my trunk, which runs through my back seat, across the floor, and up to the control box. The control box has the indicator lights, which you could run up to your dashboard. And the control module is plugged into the 12 volt car power supply. The front extension cable is running out my front door and up to the front flipper. Remember, my setup is a temporary demonstration. Proper cable routing and mounting would be needed for a permanent solution. Then I turn on the control module and will demonstrate the local buttons. When I press the left button, it's flipping my rear plate. The middle button flips my front plate. And both plates flip when I press the right button. 
The red and green LEDs indicate which side of the flipper is showing so you can match them up. And here's what it looks like with the wireless key fob. For my front plate, I press the C button. This thing sucks. Yep. I'm gonna do it again. And the rear plate is flipped by pressing B. Oh my god. This thing sucks. Alright, let's flip it back. Now I'll demonstrate flipping both plates at the same time by pressing A. Overall, I like the idea of the license plate flipper, but it has a lot of issues with mounting onto the vehicle as well as mounting plates onto the flipper. But let me know what you think. Would you buy one of these? Let me know in the comments and now enjoy the bloopers. Try again.